is now we've looked at the 1020 we've looked at the 1010 now if you want to go all the way in the one that i've actually been requested the most to do a video on we are going to be taking a look at the pelican 1040. now like i said you guys for a while have been commenting and telling me i need to take a look at the 1040 or they want to see me you know build a survival kit out of the 1040 and it's taken me a while and i really have been resistant to it but since i'm doing a whole pelican survival case kind of series for this winter slash christmas season to give you guys some gift ideas um, I decided that I owe it to you guys to take a look at the 1040. Okay, so before we jump into this, it's going to be easier to see on this side as before I open it up. So on the top of this case, the top that hinges open, we have two hand warmers or two pairs of hand warmers because the 1040 is large enough to accommodate two pairs. And then we also have four zip ties of varying thicknesses and widths. So gives you some options for cordage and for keeping your hands warm and like I said in my 1010 video I like my survival kits to have a good mixture of real survival resources and also stuff that you're gonna realistically use Like maybe if you forget a pair of hand warmers or your friend or your buddy thinks you know their hands aren't gonna freeze or something you know it's nice to have something that's realistic and usable so now let's take a look at the actual survival side of things so to start off we have a uh, little so to start off, we have a reflective signal mirror here. I'm not going to blind you guys with it or anything, or try not to, but this is a little signal mirror here. Then we have a good sized piece of aluminum foil. This is about, I think, a foot long um, when it's unfolded. So this gives you a lot of options. And like I mentioned in the last video about the 1020, the reason why I like incorporating some aluminum foil is because this case does act as a container it's a plastic container so you can't boil in it whereas with aluminum you can create cups you know little plates little trays that are waterproof that you can actually boil or at least heat up water in it's not the best long-term solution and of course you know stainless steel or titanium cups are always preferred but you know aluminum foil is there to get you by okay so next to that we have a good amount of if I get this thing unstuck we have a good amount of pair so we have a good amount of Gorilla Orange uh, tape or Gorilla tape, and then we have attached to it a sail needle with a little uh, safety pin. So just giving you some added options in case you need to do any gear repairs or whatever you need to do out in the field. And like I said, that just snugs right up and actually gets caught by the um, by the Gorilla tape itself. So it really is compact on there, and I just have this Gorilla tape wrapped around some foam so that it's flexible and movable, but you can also still peel it off when you need. Okay, so once again, being an, on the more practical side, we have some different sized band-aids. So, you know, we got some larger band-aids, as you guys can see. We also have some smaller band-aids. So just a whole bunch of assorted sizes of band-aids for whatever the cut may need. Next to that, I'm actually gonna grab this little guy, hopefully, and this is just a little, um, razor blade and it's of course sheathed so it doesn't cut anything and this works good for a ferro rod striker or if you need an extra blade for cutting of course you guys can see that i have the uh, leatherman charge plus in here and of course that's another fantastic option i chose to go with a multi-tool over a standard folding knife due to the fact that this is a little bit larger kit i wanted to give myself some more capability so you know this has a saw it has a straight blade it has a serrated blade on the other side it has a file and just a whole assortment of tools okay so on this side we got some snare wire we have about 10 feet of paracord here of course we have another army uh, light my fire army ferro rod there and of course you guys can see the trend of orange 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 that's because this is more of a survival kit you know you want visibility and of course the most important thing is you know if you drop any of these things you want to be able to see them so that's why i put the orange uh, gorilla tape on the handles of this little charge you know you want visibility to see your tools and make sure they're not getting lost okay so next to that we don't have any tinder quicks in here but we also but we do have three wet fire tabs so i kind of felt that that more than makes up for it 
so there's a lot of usefulness in these wet fire tabs and of course the nice thing what i really like about wet fire tabs is if you're smart with them you can get more than one fire out of each of these i mean in fact i think though i've never tried it but you can cut these things up into three solid pieces and you can get at least three fires out of each wet fire tab so then lastly to that um, we also have a mylar blanket on this side and it's still left in its plastic bag now unfortunately this plastic factory bag uh, comes with some holes like put into it i don't know why there's holes in the bag already uh, they're not like torn but you know they're actually like cut in as you guys can see so it, unfortunately this bag isn't necessarily good for holding water but i put it there because these mylar blankets if you're familiar with them you know all mylar blankets are pretty fragile and so i wanted to make sure that the mylar bl blanket didn't get damaged so that's why it's still in its plastic covering okay so that is the basics to this kit there's not too much to it Okay guys, so that's the basics to this kit. There's quite a bit in it, but it's also not overly complicated. Of course, there's always room probably, you know, could shove a few things in a few other places, but I felt like, I felt pretty confident in the amount of gear that was able to be stored readily here. Maybe, you know, you know, everyone's gonna have their own opinion on what they would rather have, but I felt like this was a pretty solid uh, amount of gear and a pretty diverse, amount so certainly covers the five c's of survivability and then some so yeah it's a pretty good mix in my opinion between usefulness stuff that you're more likely going to actually use versus just survival equipment but it has a bit of both and honestly i really love the size of the uh, 1040 it's probably my favorite size out of all of these uh pelican cases and you know that this one while certainly more expensive than the other survival cases that we covered it's still not too bad i think this one comes in at right around 26 dollars or so you know like 20 to 26 dollars so you can still get one of these 1040s for a fairly decent price and as i said with the other two kits the 1010 and the 1020 you can fit a lot in them and they're so durable and they're of course waterproof shock resistant all that fun stuff so anyways guys hopefully you enjoyed this and as always god bless and i'm out